Hello there everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Louis Lutz. I'm also known as the car boot queen because I am absolutely obsessed with anything to do with car boots and charity shops. Wherever there's a bargain to be had, I'm right there sniffing it out. Thank you for watching again this um, channel and if you'd like to subscribe to it, just simply, if you go up or down, I don't know, click a button, like it, love it, share it. I don't know what you do on this bloody YouTube um, stuff. So yes, thank you very much for tuning in and let's begin. <laughs> All these bargains I'm talking about today are from my local car boot in Winfield, Winfields of Haslingdon. Some of you might be familiar with that. It is a huge outdoor shopping place up in Haslingdon in the northwest of England. It's a belting place to get all your camping gear and stuff like that and shoes, all your outdoorsy stuff. And they have an incredible car boot there as well. But it's only on um, between March and September. So it is now finished. So I'm going to show you some of my roundups. Let's start off with these beauties. A set of wooden heart trays, five pounds for the three of them. These are great to put all your trinkets in, your knickknacks, um, or dust gatherers that Paddy might call them. Five pounds. I think the um, I think I've done these before, aren't I? I think I bought a couple of these on my first video. It is me, and I could not resist this set of three wooden heart trays. So I've managed to find another set that by a brand called Sill and I think the big one on its own retails at £15 so I did alright there, a fiver for all three of them. I love anything with heart shapes, do you? I just love hearts, nice and chunky, a great little addition to my household collection. Next up is this retro art deco inspired ice crushing machine from Habitat. Now this was two pounds and I've not been on the website um, on eBay, but I do think they go for a lot more than two pounds, maybe around 30 pounds. It's, as you can see on the right in there, it's made by Habitat from the Fiesta range. I won't use it because I can't be asked crushing my own ice. I've got a fridge freezer that does that for me. But you have to admit, it looks quite the bomb, doesn't it? If you're, if you're hosting a party or if you're making cocktails for people, which isn't going to happen in my house. I prefer a cocktail out of a can from Tesco. But yeah, nice little addition. Two pounds that was. You do know that I love um, cosmetics, branded cosmetics, um, deluxe cosmetics. Um, but I'm not an expert. I don't know everything. As you can see, I bought this thinking it was like a deluxe thing and it's not. One pound this was, cougar or cougar. Do I fancy myself as a cougar? No, I don't think any young guns would be interested in me. White truffle hyaluronic gift set, a pound. I went on eBay. I think you can buy these for four quid. Absolute pile of tosh. Um, it'll do though, won't it, for some Christmas fair. Never mind. You can't win everything at the car boot. Even I make a boob and a cock up at times. Including this. This was a bloody cock up. I don't know why the hell I bought this. What the bloody hell is it? It looks like an urn that you put ashes in. I was quite drawn to it. I thought it's a nice, like, retro piece of silverware. What? Who am I kidding? The lid's missing, obviously. I do think it is a bloody urn for ashes. I really do. But then again, I think it would look quite cute outside as a little plant pot. What do you reckon? You've got your little lion's heads on the side, the little um, knocker things. So I might put a plant in it, but then again, I probably won't because I don't even garden. So again, another boob. What the hell did I buy that for? God only knows. I love my candles and smellies and I had to buy this Stone Glow candle. Stone Glow are a fabulous brand. They're not cheap. They sell them in the likes of John Lewis. This candle will probably retail for around £15 and I paid a pound for it. And it's sea salt and oak moss. If you find any Stone Glow products yourself in the charity shops or car boots, I suggest you um, snap them up because they are quality products. They burn really nicely, nice and even. So that's a nice sage green um, candle. It smells absolutely delicious. Bargain. And I keep that. I've got a drawer full of candles. Paddy hates them. He's convinced I'm going to set the house on fire one day. 
Um, but I'd rather get rid of the candles than get... No, I mean, I'd rather get rid of Paddy than get rid of the candles. Anybody else with me on that? Now, I love collecting retro vintage things and I could not resist this. It looks absolutely nothing, but it's made, if you're familiar with them, by the Cousins brand, the soap brand. Who remembers the Cousins soap? Um, and they were based in Manchester. I think it's Salford the based, and they've been there absolutely years. And this little trinket box, and it's like pearlized. So that was two pounds, and it also came with this. And this is a soap holder. I know it's vile. I absolutely detest this soap. It's my husband's favourite soap. I think it smells. I nearly said taste. I've only um, I've, I've only tasted soap when I'm having my mouth washed out with soap and water when I was swearing as a kid. My dad did that once to me and he literally did. Um, so this is upside down. Cousins soap holder. I think it's rank, but it is so collectible, these. I don't know how much it's worth on eBay. I've not checked, but I'm going to keep it anyway. If I ever go away on holiday with Paddy, I will let him take a bar of soap, of his favourite soap, and he can put it in this. So he basically opens like that. You see? doesn't smell of anything. I can't smell the soap, but who else hates cousin soap it's vile the smell the shape the color and as for those bloody stickers when you're washing with them and then they bloody disintegrate and slide off into the shower or bath absolutely minging minging right what else have i got i got this body lotion for daisy it is the daisy perfume obviously inspired my lovely by my lovely daisy that was a pound these retail for about 15 pounds on ebay smells just like the daisy perfume of course it's going to smell like it why why do i even say that eh? why so she's going to get that in her stocking at christmas time and then i love anything by soap and glory um, which you can buy from boots and this shower gel was £1.50. Absolute bargain. Probably retails around £4 in boots. Next up, brain training book. I'm not into brain training. My brain is full of crap as it is. I don't need to train it any harder. But I bought this for my mum. This was a pound. And the retail price on the back is £7.99. And it's got over 130 puzzles to solve. Um, things like, is it Sudoku or Sudoku? Can't bloody pronounce it. I've never done it in my life. I don't get it. I actually don't know how you put all those numbers in. Is it a grid of nine? I haven't got a clue, but my mum is really good like that. I have to say, she's a clever woman. She's 77 and she's, you know, she is um, a right clever lady. So she can have that for Christmas. That's coming her way. Next up is this fabulous mirror. Oh, and you can see my setup. Look at it. You can see, look, um, microphone is balanced on a Kath Kitson cup. I don't even know if the microphone works, to be honest. It was just an Amazon special. And then you can see all my claptrap piled up and my lights. Woo, bright lights. Um, so this was five pounds. As you can see, it's a beautiful, chunky mirror, metal surround, big, um, nice, circular, sturdy design, a mixture of brass and black, very nice quality um, mirror. That was a fiver. I love that. No idea where the hell it's going to go, but I'll find space. I will. I will find some space. Next up is this lovely wreath heart. It's been made with lots of like ribbon and net and fabric. Um, you know, well done to the person who crafted that because I certainly could not be asked doing anything like that. I'd rather just pay money for it. You won't get me sat there um, crafting away. So that was two pounds. Beautiful colours. You've got your nice pinks and your greys and your blushes. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to hang that um, on my wardrobe somewhere or on a door. Even though it will annoy Paddy, he'll probably yank it off and rag it off and break it. But um, it's worth a go. Let's see. I like winding him up just for the crack. Who remembers these? You have to be of a certain age, from a certain era, to love these or to even just appreciate them. Now, the real name for them, I can't pronounce it. I actually can't. Oh, is it Mon? I think it's Monchiche. I can't pronounce it. Monchiko, Monchiche. They are a Japanese brand of beautiful little teddies. But in my age, in my days, 
Um, we call these cheekaboos. Oh, they're absolutely beautiful. So they're like a little monkey that sucks its thumb. Look, in fact, it's got a dummy on or a bottle. It's so cute. I don't know what that says on its bib. It has the cutest little top knot and ribbon going on, a little tie at the back. And I think these retail, they're about £25 bought new. So this isn't a vintage one. What year is this? I don't know. I know they've been around since the 70s. Um, so that, this one isn't that old, but how beautiful is that? And look at the little tail. Does anybody else remember Cheekaboos? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Oh, absolutely beautiful. My little friend, I'm going to go to bed with him at night. I got this tray. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with trinkets and knickknacks with homeware. That was £2. Really nice, lightweight, metal, dimpled effect tray. Again, just to put knickknacks in or maybe some fruit. Wait till you see the bargain of the day. You've got to stay tuned to see the bargain of the day. Not, not long to go. Don't worry, I'm not going to keep you too long. Now, I bought these for my beautiful friend, Francesca, who does my amazing nails and she always does my blow dries. She's due a bit little baby boy in the next month or so. And these were a brand new pair of baby vans and these were two pounds. How cute are them? Look at them little buggers. Oh, oh I do miss, I do miss um, Daisy and Patrick being so young and wearing little footwear like that, but that's the only part I miss. I don't miss anything else about them being babies and that's an absolute fact. And then, are you ready? Are you ready? This is the last of the roundup of the bargains. No, actually I've got one more thing next to me. Actually, I've got two more things. Ignore me, brain, brain not working. I'm gonna save the bargain. I'm just gonna save the ultimate bargain. I got this. This is a Christmas tree skirt. So basically you put it at the base of your Christmas tree. It's a wicker skirt. This was a fiver. And in the likes of next and places, these can often cost like 25 pounds. Um, Paddy had no idea what it was. He says, is it a hat? What is it? I said, I don't know. I could even go as a fancy dress, as a flower pot man if I wanted to. A bit too late now for Halloween. Missed it. Bloody hell, missed the trick there. Um, but I love Beautiful wicker like that. That was a fiver, so I can't wait to get the Christmas tree up. I mean, it's what date am I on? November the, what are we on? November the 8th, is it too early? What do you think? What do you think? One more item before the juicy bargain of the day. Have you heard of the brand? What is it? Let's have a look. I even I forgot what it is. Kitchen Aid. A Kitchen Aid blender, mixer, is it? I don't know, chopper. I don't know, because I'm not going to use it. I don't cook, I don't bake, but it bloody looks the bomb. It looks like I've, you know, I've like spent lots of money on the kitchen. Um, this was £30 and I believe these are well over £200 um, from the likes of Selfridges and on John Lewis. It comes with um, that as well. I actually don't know what it is, what that attachment is. It does work. I have sampled it. Um, but it, oh, it's my arms aching. I'm putting it down. But that is an absolute bargain. That was thirty. Did I say thirty? Yeah, thirty pounds should be well over two hundred pounds in the in the likes of them selfridges and John Lewis. Right. Last but not least, I'm trying to cut these videos down because when I prattle on a lot, it can get really boring. I am aware of that. Um, because when you're showing things, you want it to be quick and like, you know, come on, come on, get it over and done with. So hopefully I have shortened this video down. Right, last but not least, the bargain of the day. I couldn't believe my luck. And I knew they were real straight away. I knew they were authentic. I could tell by the quality of the lady standing on the stall. I've got my very own first pair of Alexander McQueen trainers complete with original receipts these were bought in hong kong um all the paperwork is here there's a dust bag as well so you can tell it's all all genuine all official there you go alexander mcqueen bought in hong kong how much did it cost six thousand eight hundred oh what's the currency again some more authentic paperwork la 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 there's a dust bag not even been used yet. I'll make a nice little makeup bag for my travels. So here they are. They do need cleaning, but look at them. £25. 
there you go the little bit of a scuff at the front there but i do have a friend uh my friend the lovely Linnaeus, his son darius he cleans trainers for a living that's what he does he gets um it pimps up all your sneakers and trainers back to the original condition so as you can see on the back nice and clean there it's literally just a case of getting them back to the whiter than white and maybe we will tackle the scuff there now she wanted 35 pounds for these but i managed to get it down to 25 pounds so i'm really happy with that again another card just to prove the authenticity of them so i can't wait to get wearing them and that is it for today's roundup of the car boot thank you so much for watching and next time I do one, I will titivate this background out because it is a, it's a sorry affair, really, isn't it? It's a bit sad. A bloody David Bellamy plant behind me there, IKEA special going on, and the linen curtain. Come on, I can do better than this, can't I? Right, thank you so much for watching. Give me a subscribe, give me a like, whatever, please. Comment, interact, and I'll reply back to you. Um, thank you very much. See you soon. Yeah.